Hey guys, um, I've got a fashion statement on here. Like it? You like my outfit? I got the socks to match it. You can tell I'm in the hospital. But I um, got a message out of it. This one was actually from a year ago. It's still a good message. Are you connected to the vine? Are you truly connected? And is the blood flowing, blood of the lamb covering you? That your life source, because if not, you're gonna die. So this this is the message, but I'm gonna get into parts of it too. Um, I'm not sure if I should tell you why I'm here first, or if I should do the message. But I think I'll do the message because it'll make some sense. Um, And an ulcer on my toe. Same thing last year. My, when I went to the hospital, I was in there three weeks last year. Um, my whole leg was fire engine red, literally. And the doctor were like, man, they were screaming at me, literally, some of them. Um, and if I would have let them cut, and cut the things off, they would never stop. They didn't cut my leg off below, below the neck, you know, I mean, I, it would have been really, really ugly. Prayed about it the first night before they even started talking about cutting. But they already put in an order for the me to not eat so they could do an operation. And they already and they already had the chainsaw out, bolt cutters, whatever. So I prayed about it. And the Lord told me, he said, Man, tell them to get rid of the infection first. That's where the church is at, guys, right now, or the supposed church. I'm not talking about a building and a denomination or some past you like or don't like or any of that. <clears throat> I'm talking about his body. The infection, and the world is really bad on it right now. The infection, guys, is sin. So whatever your sin is tonight, it's time to start cleaning out. <laughs> your house I start with that me too so this message is not you do it and I don't I gotta start with mine <clears throat> so they ended up cutting off about this much of my toe after three weeks in the hospital three different hospitals long story but <laughs> they had to get rid of the infection first and then they knew what they were dealing with while I'm sitting there, that's where this message is going because it correlates to today, too, because that's the same reason why I'm in here, but this is for my right toe. I'll tell you the testimony in a second, or in a minute. So, end of, the, end of it, operated, did everything. Well, what they did was they clipped a little bit of the, of the toe off at the bone. After they clipped it off, took the toe off, Clipped a little bit off, they sent off her biopsy and do everything to make sure they got all the infection. Well, this infection control doctor came in and he, he really, he, you could tell he was very, very educated. Older guy, you just tell, he really knew what he was doing. He was very thorough and he spent about 20 minutes with him. But towards the end, he got to the where he was, the, the point of it was, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of medicine you got, any of that. If the blood isn't flowing properly to the wound or to where the infection is, mine was in the bone, he said the bone's gonna die. That's where it's at, that's where the message is at, guys. If we're not connected to the vine and the blood's not flowing, because we're the branches, read it, it's in John, well, I think what, 14? You, you, I'm the vine, you're the branches, you know, many, many scriptures. <laughs> if that connection is broke, or we're not even connected, or we're just kind of floating in the wind, <clears throat> there's no blood flow to cover us, to wash us, to purge us of our sins, to get us our minds to think right, not so that they're cleansed. And it comes from our heart, not our mind. Life in the blood. So many messages in that. <clears throat> if there's no blood flowing, 
in your life, you're going to die. Spiritually, naturally, but the worst one's going to be spiritually dies. Because you're going to spend eternity somewhere. So if that blood isn't flowing, and it can't be any blood, it has to be the blood of the Lamb. If it's not flowing in your life, you're going to die. So I'm going to keep this really short, but that's my main just of this message. Is the blood flowing in your life? Covered under the blood. Do you really trust in Jesus? Is your, are you really connected? Because when the blood's flowing, you're doing a little bit more than listening, guys. You're praying, you're seeking him, you're washing that, you find sin in your life, you're purging it. The infection of sin in your life it's going to be washed out, cleansed, purified by the blood of the Lamb. And you're not going to die. And the bones are going to live. Okay, let's fast forward it to today. And this is just part of my testimony. But that's the message. Um, <clears throat> I just want to keep it brief because it's kind of jacking with, you know, I've been in here since Tuesday and just jacking with a lot of stuff, <clears throat> as you can imagine. But this time, I caught it. But I had an ulcer on the bottom of my foot. Because I'm diabetic, it just, it, I mean, I went to the doctor about three weeks ago, and it wasn't infected. It's just a wound. He said, well, you need to go to a wound care doctor. But, long story, but, I was at a primary doctor, and I needed to really switch to a better hospital better doctor because the plan that they were under wasn't an insurance problem it was just who they were under um, was horrible so where they were going to send me to the hospital I wouldn't go so I didn't go to the wound doctor well I was busy I had a lot of stuff going on it's so a part of the self-inflicted stayed on my foot a little bit too long and it did get infected I just get to pony up that old saying, I forget which president it was, but the buck stops here. And guess what? Stevie, the buck stops there. I kind of shouldn't have stayed on my foot. One. But I did go to the doctor, and I did try, and I did make, you know, and then I followed them. That's their advice, except for their wound care. But that wouldn't have really mattered because of the wrong place. Um, so then I went again. I put many antibiotics the first time, and they put me on a little bit stronger ones, but it was really infected by then. And they said the same thing, the wound care, and my wife was real adamant. She said, you're gonna go to the doctor, you're gonna find me, you know, so I, so I prayed about it, and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to the hospital where I know I should be at, and you know. Called the insurance carrier and said, look, I don't care about all the hoopla red tape. I said, I'm gonna go switch primary cares because that was a problem. It was gonna be months to switch this, you know. <clears throat> I'm like, no, you're just gonna switch me and this is where I'm gonna go. And I said, this is why. And I told him why, some issues that the, these doctors had. It wasn't a doctor, but it was the umbrella group that they were under that was, you know, destroying them, pressuring them. And I did switch, got to the doctor and the doctor at the better hospital, or at least the the group of hospitals wasn't real happy. You're gonna die, you could have died, you, you need to be in the hospital. Um, it wasn't good, guys. It didn't look good. It was very, very infected by then. And they got into the bones. And they're like, you're gonna lose your toe, part of this one. And, you know, I didn't like that answer. Followed through with him for a week, and then I went to um, the primary care at the hospital where I wanted to be so I could all be under one page. She said the same thing and I went to the emergency room, set it up, set up the order, but I had to wait a couple of days. Long story, but it, I just needed the time. This wasn't, it wasn't the only giant in the land that I was fighting. And I was very serious. That's why I said my sword's been a little dull, guys, because it's like, man, it just is. <clears throat> not because I'm not praying, it's just, man, I've been 
battling multiple fronts. Very serious. Um, so, get to the emergency room. Call the doctor who did the, the podiatrist, who I really trust. He's a, was a great surgeon and just a good Christian guy. And called him in on the case, at, you know, because I just wanted him, to him if there was going to be an operation, I wanted him to do it. And I knew he was part of it. And, but, you know, it's just a process. There's a lot of doctors involved. There's a lot of, you know, they put me on really strong antibiotics. And when he came, his diagnosis was got all five of the toes off. Like, well, you know, how am I going to walk? Oh, you can walk up. You're not going to be able to run. You'll still be able to walk. It'll be a little bit challenging, but you'll still be able to walk. I'm like, that's not going to work. Trusted his opinion. I knew he was probably right. And they, you know, they, they showed me they did MRIs all the stuff. Um, I knew he was right. But I'm connected to the mind, guys. So I'm not necessarily not always the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I know where to go. Your name is Jesus. I'm connected to the vine. So I brought it to him in some pretty serious prayer. And I've been praying a lot about this anyhow. But I went, you know, that they're not going to work, God. Jesus, you're going to have to help me. I need to, you know, I know I'm connected to the vine. Here it is. Long, long, you know, still praying. came up with a second solution. <clears throat> they don't like it, and I had heard parts of it, but it just took a while to get it, you know, filtered out through, you know, because there's so many multiple doctors and nurses, and I found out, you know, just through being here multiple times that sometimes, you, you know, you can get more information from the nurses than the doctors. Cause they're at ground zero, kind of. You know, so I just kept asking questions, and finally I started putting the pieces together, and finally what he said, and then another couple of doctors, and this leads to my point of this message, are you connected to the vine, and is the blood of the lamb flowing? Because if not, you're going to die. I needed to get rid of the infection in the bone. The antibiotics, there's nothing in the blood that took care of it. Toe redness, a lot of stuff. I mean, it dropped a lot. But the antibiotics that they have me on are broad. And, you know, the, this is specific. It has to be specific and it has to be really targeted. And it has to be really intense because the bone, it, it's in the bone very deep. So, so is some of the sin in our lives. So, the blood has to be very specific. Jesus can see it all. God knows it all. So, don't even, you know, you don't have to confess it to me or anything. I can confess some of mine to you probably either. Um, <clears throat> we all could use some repentance. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> this was the plan they're going to do a biopsy and at first I was a little bit concerned about that you know taking out part of the bone well now the, the doctor that's going to do it came in and you just basically stick a needle in there and pull a little bit of the somehow they pull a little bit of the bone out through the needle enough that cause they have to do a culture in a lab and in figure out what strain of bacteria it is, what they're specifically dealing with. Well, guess what? Jesus is the same way. He knows our hearts. He knows what we're specifically dealing with in each of us. You know, some of us have the same sins. Some of us have hidden sins. Some of us have multiple sins. Some of us have different sins. Um, he knows. Why hide it, guys? He, you're not hiding it anyhow. So, they're going to target the specific infection, or whatever strain of bacteria it is. And it's a 10 week process. And they send me home, and it's, I guess I got a pick thing, a pick tube or something. But, you know, I think it goes somewhere by your heart. I'm not a doctor, but that's kind of what I've gathered from it so far. So, you can do the IVs at home. 
but the hospital wouldn't send me with any kind of prescriptions until I get the right one. Because, you know, they could be liable and it's just not going to work. And my, the, the podiatrist, three or four of them all said the same thing. Well, it's probably not going to work because you don't have most diabetics. That's the issue. They don't have good blood flow. They did an ultrasound on me a year ago and it was awesome blood flow. And it still is. They just did another one. So, the silver lining in this. Well, really, it's the hand of God or Jesus. My blood flows good. So if you're connected to the vine, his blood flows fine. It's awesome. The blood pressure's there. He is definitely going to, but you have to be connected. You can't be disconnected, discombobulated. And you get connected through prayer. You get connected through getting rid of your sin cleaning up because sin you could be connected but that sin is a crack in the vine it's a bad spot it's a cut it's a weakness so maybe the blood could flow out there instead of to where it's supposed to go to you know gotta get rid of the sin guys we gotta get rid of the infection that's what the blood will do so that you can live and live but life abundantly and live again be victorious and glorious. Be that royal priesthood of peculiar people. Because you know what, guys? Plenty of sin out there. But it's almost like a crater if we don't stay connected and get connected. If you're not connected, get connected. I'm not talking about that you have to sit in somebody's church. I'm Because even if you do, that's great and awesome. And that helps you get connected with others. And, and they may strengthen you, but if you go and you're disconnected, it doesn't matter. You can just sit there and be a bump on a log. Just showing up. You've got to get connected in that secret place. It's a personal thing. You've got to be connected yourself. So that's what I'm doing. And tomorrow's the biopsy, and I didn't want to be in here on the 4th of July weekend. And it's like, Getting some rest, but not because they're putting me so many antibiotics. Like about every two hours, I you know I get an hour, two hours here. Last night I got about four or five because nobody came here and bugged me. After um, two o'clock, they stopped my IVs till like well, the next one was like not till ten in the morning. So I you know got, finally got a chance to get a little sleep. Not a lot though, but the food's pretty good, and I'm getting some rest. Cause I'm just sitting here. It gives me a lot of time to pray, think. You know, solve some of my problems in uh, just things that I've got to, you know, get fixed. So I'm going to get out pretty immediate. Kind of a few more emergencies than this one. Several 911s. Um, but so, but I'm connected to the vine, guys. And I'm going to trust in Him. Through it all, I'll learn to trust in Jesus. I'll learn to trust in God. So, not just covered in the blood of the Lamb, guys. It's got to flow. God wants it to flow. He sent His Son. His purpose and plan. It'll flow if you let it. If there's not something stopping it up, if the vine's not broke, if there's not a gouge in it from sin, if you're not hiding something, It's time to purge. Get rid of that infection, guys. Let the blood flow and let it go. He told me this a while back. He said, let it go and watch it grow. So, blood of the Lamb. Got to be connected, guys. So, you know, I'll end this with, you know, I'm, of course I pray. Pray for me, though, too, because I could use it all. But so could all of y'all. I mean, I've got some friends on Facebook, and you know, they've got mothers and, you know, um, nursing homes that fell and there's just you know a lot of people over their marriage and there's one guy that him his whole family was sick you know and there's one guy that you know really good guy i throw it out there anyhow i'm sure you're lying gabriel nichols look him up god he's pretty awesome honestly the young man that's serving the lord very strongly got cancer he's bought battled a lot but he's staying strong 
divine, connected to divine. So he'll say, he say he's even perfect? No, but connected to divine. The blood's flowing in his life, you can tell. Some of us got little little bits, itty bitty infections, and, and, and like my toe, okay, they got most of the infection out, except in the bones, and, and they showed the MRI, it's not a lot, but this doctor said, well, it's like a smoldering fire, it's just waiting to flare up as soon as the, they get off the antibiotics. So unless it's out and killed, and that's what the devil does, he hides, it's waiting, it's a trap door, he's got these little seemingly insignificant sins, some of them are big, significant sins, but they're waiting to destroy us. So you can't let the infection stay. That's the hour we're living in, guys. And what I was saying earlier, I don't know if I finished it, but some of us are going to crater. I said this a while back. What are you going to do when gas hits 10 bucks? That's all the cash I had on me the other day that I could get gas with. That was 10 bucks, honestly. Um, <clears throat> Put it in the tank. I had to make it stretch because my wife had to go somewhere. To get, she did something to get, you know, bring in some more money. And, um, so we were fine, but um, but we still, you know, I had to make it stretch. And that's all I had at the time. <clears throat> ten, and I don't worry about that tomorrow. He's gonna let you find ten bucks. You know, he, he's gonna bless us. There's a lot of messages in this, guys, but the blood of the lamb has to flow to get rid of the infection of the sin in your lives, to purge, make you clean, purify you, washed by the blood of the Lamb, white as snow, so God can see you as you truly are. Sons and daughters, and he is a royal priesthood. Love you. Um, pray for me. I mean, I, I guess I forgot to say that, but it's important, but we all need prayer. So I'm going to pray for you too. Pray for me though. I don't like where I'm at. And I can't even escape. If I ran out in the street with a yellow jumpsuit on, they'd find me pretty quick. You know, hospital guy, they got no back. That's what shows, you know. That, that way I wouldn't get away. But, especially with these goofy socks on. Why are they always yellow? But anyhow, they got rubber on them so they don't slip. But don't like where I'm at. God knows what he's doing. Stevie may not. God does. <clears throat> Love you guys. Pray for me because, you know, I got some doctors tomorrow. I want to get this stuff going and I want to get out. Kind of, you know, I didn't really want to be in here for another. But now I'm going to wait a few more days because of the biopsy and it, the time to, have to target it. But, you know, it's the right thing to do. Let them finish the course and do what they got to do. And I just, you know. But with it being holiday weekend, they, you know, I, I don't know how fast I'll be able to finish it. Tomorrow's already Friday. So maybe Monday before I get out. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping Sunday, which is the 4th of July. Not a good day to, you know, be driving around, but that's okay. But pray for me. Love you guys. Um, let the blood flow. Let it go and watch it grow. Love you guys. Uh, Talk to you soon.